Health care for veterans is about to undergo a revolution that will make it much easier for them to see civilian doctors. President Obama signed the law in August, and it's supposed to go into effect next week. Investigative reporter Chris Horn is here to explain the new program and has a profile of a veteran who could definitely benefit from this. Chris? Yeah, the Choice Program, Tom, will enable veterans who've waited more than a month or who live in rural areas to get medical care from private providers. We found a woman near Gloucester who advocates for her husband, a veteran with significant physical and psychological disorders. She will welcome the new program as soon as it gets underway because after their experience with the Hampton VA Medical Center, they're desperate for another option. So if he's doing yard work or anything outside with the children, um, he may become unable to walk. His foot will drag, he'll lose his balance. Things Gabrielle like Hanks talks about her husband, John, a veteran of the Iraq War. John returned with post-traumatic stress disorder, and to make matters worse, he also has multiple sclerosis. He doesn't like to go on camera, but with a tireless and determined advocate like Gabrielle, he doesn't need to. So we're persistent in um, um, our plight to, you know, fight for this entitlement for my husband, and not just for my husband, but for all veterans. It's been incredibly frustrating and incredibly overwhelming. The couple moved to Hampton Roads from Topeka about two years ago and say they were shocked at the difference between the VA Medical Center in Kansas and the one in Hampton. It took over a month for him to see a neurologist here um, at the Hampton VA, and then when he did see the neurologist, the neurologist clearly stated to us immediately um, that he preferred not to work with people with MS. He enjoyed more working with spinal cord injury patients. When they finally did get in to see a Hampton VA neurologist, Gabrielle let him know that John was aggressive, agitated, and had thoughts of suicide. She says the doctor's bedside manner was appalling. This fella thought it was, uh, he was making a funny by telling John that he would have to, you know, have an x-ray and was he sure that he didn't have any shrapnel left in his head from when he blew his brains out. Not so funny to somebody that is deemed 70% PTSD and has serious issues with such matters. Um, not funny at all. We wanted to talk with the medical center about John Hanks's case and he signed a release for us so that we could do that. But the medical center has no comment, citing privacy concerns even though we have a signed release. A new program may be the answer for Gabrielle Hanks as she searches for care for her husband. In August, President Obama signed the Veterans Access Choice and Accountability Act designed to open up civilian care options for veterans. Here's how the plan would work. It would require the VA to offer the option of non-VA care to any veteran who is already enrolled in the VA health care system as of August 1st, or a newly discharged veteran if the vet can't get an appointment at a VA facility within 30 days, or a veteran who lives more than 40 miles from the nearest VA medical facility. How encouraged were you when that was passed? We were thrilled. Gabrielle says her husband is a perfect case for the CHOICE program. He meets the guidelines, so we're going to continue to advocate for that. We won't stop until he gets what he's entitled to. We just simply won't stop. Again, Hampton VA declined our request for an interview. Gabrielle Hanks says she contacted Senator Mark Warner, who was signed a staff member, member to her husband's case. Senator says he has already contacted Veterans Affairs on their behalf. The Choice Act has a 90-day implementation window that expires November 5th. That is Wednesday of next week. Hampton VA referred us to the VA headquarters in Washington for specific questions about the new law. So we asked when the local centers would get the details, how vets can see if they qualify, and when the VA would begin issuing choice cards to veterans. Well, a spokesperson for Veterans Affairs responded with this less than specific answer. The department's primary focus is on timely and effective implementation of this highly complex piece of legislation. VA will work with other stakeholders to ensure that provisions are implemented as quickly and efficiently as possible. The goal is to meet the timeline set forth in the act. So that would be Wednesday of next week, and we'll keep you posted. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.